this video, we will be walking you through how to create a submodel. So what are submodels in Data Architect? So think of a huge loaf of bread, right? And you want to slice them up into uh, different pieces. So think of a submodel, a slice in that regard. So you want to categorize your data models into small sections so that that will help you in better managing a huge data model. So let me go ahead and, and show you a quick demonstration here. So here you can see that we have an entity, that we have a group of entities, so we have 12. Now notice that we have customer as an example that we can take as a great use case here. So what I'm going to do is in order to create a sub-model in Data Architect, all you got to do is right click on the main model and create sub-model. Now here what we could do is we can give it a name. So depending upon the submodel name, you can just give it as customers. Then here you will notice that you can see a plus icon. And, that, uh, and what that will do is it will help you to get to some of the base tables and have some related objects associated with it. So if you click on one of the base tables and click select related objects, in this screen you can see the level um, that you would like to have of dependencies from those things. And here you can see that ER Studio was able to automatically go ahead and pick those related tables for you. So you didn't have to go in and search and do all that kind of stuff, So which is pretty awesome. So now that we've gotten this, let me go ahead and click on OK. And right now we have a much more shorter version of our data model, which is really focused on the customer related information. Now you might ask, but how about if I wanted to reflect the same thing in my physical data model? Well, it's, it's very easy. All you got to do is, is click on the logical submodel, right click on it and say submodel sync utility. And here you can choose the local model as your source. We'll click next. And you want to choose your target as well. So let me click on that. Click next. Here you're presented with the option to go ahead and create. So I'll go ahead and create this. Then I'll go ahead and hit finish. Now you'll see that it went ahead and generated this at the physical model level. Now one of the key benefits of working with submodels is that if you were to go ahead and make a change here, it will be reflected in your main model. So let's say I go ahead and edit this buying groups entity. And I go ahead and add another column. Let's say I go and add it, let's say, date confirmed. So here I can actually go ahead and add a date time. Go ahead and add that here. If I were to go to the main model and go to the buying groups entity, you'll see that I do have the date confirmed attribute added. And finally, let me show you how you can generate a submodel report. So here we'll right click and say generate reports, choose HTML. Only this time, what I'll do is from my logical data model, I'll just pick just the, the submodels from both, click next. And for the images, I'll just pick the individual submodels I'm interested in. Click finish. Now here what I can do is I can show you the expanded customers. So here we just have that submodel which is really, really cool. And now I can just pick on that particular attribute that we have. And let me go and show you about the, um, the buying groups here you have. So here you can click on the buying groups and you can see uh, in the logical data model as well, so go to buying groups. We'll see that we have the date confirmed attribute being added. So thank you for your attention on this video. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email sales at idera.com.